praise the Lord, precious people. Well, today, August 18th, the year 2011, the Lord spoke with me in the most early hours of this day, the wee hours of this morning today. The Lord spoke with me about a mighty event that is going to visit the earth, a tremendous distress of the judgment of God that is going to befall the face of the earth. And in that conversation, today, on the 18th of August 2011, very early, about 4 a.m. in the morning, the Lord drew for me the map of the Great Lakes, and then I saw the finger of the Lord, I saw His hand, and I saw huge floods consume the land and the neighborhood and the cities around the Great Lakes. So there is a great inundation. There is an event that is coming around the Great Lakes. And this will be a historic event. The Lord spread out the waters. And so there is going to be a great inundation. A great flooding around the Great Lakes. Especially Lake Erie in the United States and also touching on Canada. There's a, an event, a, a tremendous, a historic, a classical event of distress that is going to visit around the Great Lakes of the United States and Canada around the areas, the precincts, the neighborhoods of these lakes. And when these events happen, then you'll for sure know that the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The Lord Jehovah, the God of Israel, and that I am His servant, and that the Messiah is coming even as my mouth has pronounced unto the four ends of the earth. Shalom. flooding in North Carolina, where Irene first hit land this morning. At least 10 major roads have now been closed in the state because of the high winds, flooding, and downed trees.
fun. You can see we've got parts of the boardwalk that have come up that have now made their way onto the street. We're actually going to be very careful. Zoned of New York City, we're talking Lower Manhattan, places uh, like Staten Island, Coney Island, um, where the there could be flooding. And so they evacuated, and they were told by 8 o'clock Friday night, in other words, about 12 hours, you need to have your patients out of there. Thousands of homes have been clogged with mud, and roads have been damaged. More than 5 million people still have no electricity as cleanup operations continue. But now the problem is flooding, and it is affecting millions of Americans from North Carolina all the way up to the northern state of Vermont, running out of money for responding to some of these disasters. The head of FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, saying on U.S. television...